What's up, y'all? It's Barb City, where it's always motherfucking Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into it. I got to touch on Ari, y'all. She goes in for her man when necessary, and I'm totally here for it. So I guess he was performing, and she was acting like his cheerleader, y'all. And, like, if you're not going hard for your man like this, then, baby girl, you might as well just stay the f at home. Let's check this video out together. So there y'all have it, okay? My girl Ari went in for Money Bag Yo, and I don't know why, but even with all the drama, I just love their relationship. But that's for another day. Let's go on ahead and get into Summer Walker and Saucy Santana, a.k.a. Bison back. So Saucy Santana posted this video of Summer Walker to his Instagram story. And in my opinion, like this dude is so fake. He has shown nothing but, like, he has no idea how to be a genuine friend for real. So, you guys, just <laughs> check this mother video out for real. So, as y'all seen, like, I felt like that was very disrespectful. Obviously, she did not look her best. The butt was not budding, okay, in my opinion. And I'm just like, why would you post a, 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 a why would you post something like that of someone who's supposed to be your friend? You bitch! How dare you? Oh my God! Here were some of the comments. Santana is no one's friend. He's made that clear. He's been weird, and real friends wouldn't have posted that. Embarrassing. And I definitely agree on that. Now, let's go on ahead and get into Doja Cat. I want to give my own very quick opinion on her recent song, Paint the Town Red, including her video. So, and I'm going to be honest, you guys, I do feel like it's a good song without the visuals, okay? The song minus the visuals are, are all right, okay? I do understand what she's saying in the song, but I'm just like, the visuals just went too far for me. Here's a few that really stood out. Really, it was the entire video, but like I said, there were some scenes that stood out to me. This one right here, like, I felt like she was dancing with, evil okay dancing with the devil not just that but when she was cutting the meat up i got like the sense of her sacrificing i don't know what that was but i wasn't here for that as you guys could see here i'm not i'm not with the horns and like all the stuff i i was not here for the visuals at all so like i said in my opinion it is a good song but the visuals just killed it for me and a lot of other people. Also, her fans, her two big fan accounts over on Twitter, and no, I'm not saying her only two big accounts. I'm saying these are her two, like, real main accounts over on Twitter. As you guys know, they deactivated their uh, fan accounts when all that stuff happened, when she was disrespecting her fans, and they just did an interview with NBC News, and they said this, Deactivating our accounts was really us letting it be known that the support can stop for her at any time. We do much campaigning and promotion for her, and it isn't worth it if her comments is really how she feels. So, you guys, I wouldn't be wanting to do all the work that I do for Nicki Minaj if I felt like she didn't love me and she didn't appreciate me. So in my opinion, I'm just glad that we just don't have to deal with stuff like that. <laughs> and as always, you guys, you know how we do it here on Barb City. We're not going to ever 
spend time arguing with the duds. We are just going to hit them with the stats. So let's go in ahead and do our little razzle dazzle of the video and go through some of the queen's recent stats. Okay, everything is verified, whether it's posted by a Stan account or not. So do not come to my comments with that mother MBS. Back the fuck up. And I'm going to do you like Will Smith. It's my no. Okay. Nicki Minaj has now earned over 1.9 billion streams on Spotify as a lead artist in 2023. Okay. Barbie World by Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice is now the fastest female rap video to reach 50 million views on YouTube in 2023, surpassing their very own song, Princess Diana. Nicki Minaj spends a fifth consecutive week with at least three songs on the Hot 100, Barbie World, Princess Diana, and Pound Town 2. I Spice and Nicki Minaj's Princess Diana is number one on this, uh, excuse me, on Rhythmic Airplay charts. I Spice and Nicki Minaj's Princess Diana rises to number 40 plus nine on Billboard Hot 100. The song has now spent 15 weeks on the chart. The Recording Academy lists five hip hop releases that define the 2020s. Little Babies, My Turn, Tyler, The Creators, Call Me If You Get Lost, Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morell and the Big Steppers, um, Drake and 21 Savages, Her Loss, Ice Spice, and Nicki Minaj's Princess Diana. Um, and as you guys can see here, uh, Recording Academy lists Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj's Princess Diana as one of five hip hop releases that have defined the 2020s. Also, you guys, the VMAs did announce their lineup for 2023. Taylor Swift, Nicki Minaj, Ice Spice, Miley Cyrus, Olivia Rodrigo, Drake, Morgan Wallen, Jungkook, and Lotto. And as you guys can see right there at the bottom, Cardi B. Let me know what you guys feel about all of that. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.